our carrot. Our first step is going to be the carrot greens. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the front and bring a little bit of paint around to the back. Um, I'm not going to paint the wooden stake. I'm just going to paint like the back of the carrot where the greens are going to be. So I have my green paint and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of white to it and then stir it around. Then once you add a white, it's just going to help you cover the wood better. Once you add that white, you could just start painting your carrot top. I'm using the smaller brush, but you could use the bigger brush as well. But right now I'm alternating what I'm painting, so I want to keep my white brush clean for my bunny because I just put one coat on my bunny. set and just using I'm going to use the paint on the cap so what you're going to do is after you do one coat you want to go back and put a second coat And while that green is still drying, what I like to do is I'm going to actually use the cap of my white paint. And I'm just going to add some like white highlights into my greens. So I'm going to put some white on my smaller brush and then just brush like a little highlight. I'm putting it on the left side of each of the greens. Just a little color. So not everything so flat looking. So just a little white. And you're just going to brush it in. That looks good. All right, so at this point, we have all our green done. We could wash our brush. Later, if you wanna go back and you could put some more coats on, put some more white into it if you'd like as well. And then I'm just gonna do my orange. So I have my orange and I am going to just start painting. I'm gonna do two coats. Just make sure you get into all those nooks and crannies. And I'm also gonna bring that color around the back just on the carrot. I'm also gonna add just a tiny bit of white to that orange. The orange is like a red orange, so it's really deep. So I'm just adding a little bit of white and then I'm just going to paint. You'll see that you'll have, you'll it's nailed and glued together. So you could just paint over those nails. I meant to say that in the first part too. So get into all those nooks and crannies and you're going to put on two coats.
So I put two coats of that orange. And what I'm gonna do, since I did it with my green section, I'm gonna go back with some white. And just on the left side, I'm just gonna put a little white on my left side. Give it a little highlight. This is all optional. So I added a little white. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna mix a little of the orange and a little black to make a darker orange. So I have, I have the cap of my orange paint. So I have my orange on my cap and I'm just gonna add a teeny bit of black to it just to get like, it's almost gonna create a brown that's okay so on with your small brush and that like brown I just like to put it in like the little the little cutouts of my carrot just to highlight that there's depth to it so I'm just going to put it in my little triangle cutouts that we have here And then once I put it, if there's a little on top of the carrot, just go back with your carrot color and just blend it with some carrot color. All right. So that, my carrot is finished. Easy as that. Super simple. Just don't forget to do the back and do your edges as well too. So let this dry and once it's dry, it's ready to be staked into the ground.